So today we're gonna make a mascarpone and white wine sauce for our Valentine's Day breakfast. So Diane, we're gonna make a traditional butter sauce reduction. So like a white wine shallot reduction, like you would make for a butter sauce. The only twist that we're gonna do to it is we're gonna finish the sauce as opposed to just using butter, we're gonna finish it with mascarpone cheese. Oh. Which is delicious okay. with smoked salmon it and is. Okay. has, you know, the play of cream cheese, smoked salmon for okay. our breakfast. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with just adding butter to our pan. And we want this to let the butter get foamy. Okay, so it's at a high, okay. Medium high heat. All right, so now we're gonna add our minced shallots. And we're gonna sweat those out. Turn that down to medium low now. And we're just gonna sweat that. You don't want our butter to brown. Now you can add the white wine. So you're gonna add a cup of white wine. And the white wine is gonna bring that acid element into it. Go ahead and drop a sprig of thyme in there, a little okay. aromatics. So we're gonna let that reduce all the way down all the way until down. the liquid is gone. So now we're gonna add our cream. So we're gonna garnish this sauce with chopped parsley, dill, chopped chives, minced red onions. So kind of the traditional garnish that goes with caviar. Okay. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by just grating these. And you have to put a lot of pressure on this and don't be afraid, your hand will get to the grater, but you're not gonna grate your hand. Okay. Oh. Oh, look how pretty okay. I did. And then just go ahead and pat it down. Okay. And then go ahead and Okay, the yolk. same way, right? Same way. We're gonna mix it all together, so. Okay. Oh, it's starting to crumble on me. That's okay. Cream is reduced. Okay. And now we're gonna go ahead and use the mascarpone just like we would use butter. So if you wanna Come over whisk, there. yeah. Whisking. And this is a great sauce that you can use for many different dishes. Piece of poached sole. Oh, nice. It'd be delicious. Okay. And it's important to push your pushing through. Yeah, you taught me sauce that. Through. That's a great. Job. So now you can go ahead and add your garnish right into your sauce. Okay. And We'll put our, some chives in there. Start with a little bit of dill, chives, and parsley. And our red onions. What I do is I'm just gonna go ahead and taste this. Lucky. <laughs> needs a little more salt. Salt, yeah, I had a feeling I was gonna get in there. Mm -hmm. And a little pepper. Okay. We'll add our eggs. Okay. Oh my gosh. Does it look like it's done yet? It does, I mean, it. Is there anything else you would like in there? Let me guess what you'd Some, like. Is there caviar going there? Or, or <laughs> champagne or something? <laughs> Put a little caviar in there. Okay. So now what you want to do is you don't want the sauce to be too warm, that's so we let it cool just a little bit. And then this makes a great caviar sauce. So. Yeah, that's beautiful. Another dish our kids would go mm -hmm. crazy <laughs> over. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That sauce, you see the acidity? Oh Get a little the onions, you need that little spice of the red onion. That is amazing. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. Thank see. you. Thank you, honey. Subscribe to Cook Taste Eat to get the rest of this beautiful, decadent recipe.